And if you're going to avoid the whole bar scene, maybe you're going to throw a party at home instead, there are still things that you need to know to protect yourself and your guests. Matt Fleischman is a personal injury lawyer at Rosensteel Fleischman Law Firm in Charlotte. He's here to discuss what could happen if somebody leaves your party drunk and they get into an accident. Now this is a very good thing for people to know because you think that you're being safe by having people at your house, uh, but anything that happens there that leads to an accident could have legal ramifications on you. So what are those, Matt? So um, we, we get a massive influx of these cases every year around this time of year. Um, you, you host a party, you're trying to have your friends, your family over, but if they have too much, to, uh, too much alcohol, they consume too much alcohol, they get drunk, you will be held responsible for it. Uh, there are, are you know, different laws depending on whether you're serving alcohol to either a minor who mm -hmm. gets intoxicated or to an adult, but either way, the homeowner is potentially liable. So let's talk about if you're serving to an adult first, because hopefully nobody's going to be serving to minors in the first place, although we will address that in just a minute. Uh, so you have an adult there who gets becomes intoxicated, drives home, gets into an accident. What could happen to you? Well, it would actually be under your homeowner's insurance. So the, the way it would work is if, if the law is basically if you serve alcohol to an individual and that you know or should know that individual becomes intoxicated and then that individual goes out and drives and causes an accident, you are personally responsible. So typically what would happen is you'd have to take a look at all the facts. And the, the, the hardest one to prove for an individual is whether that you knew or should know that that, that person who consumed the alcohol was intoxicated. So for, an injury, for a, a lawyer like myself, that's the hardest thing to prove. But if you can do that, that homeowner will be responsible. Wow. Okay. Well, you know, this is the, the parent that d drives all the other parents crazy, especially you, I know you have kids. I have kids as well. Mm -hmm. You think of your, your kids being teens and there's always those parents, right? That say, if you're going to drink, come to our house and drink. So at least I know you're safe. So we do know that there are parents who do that, unfortunately, although it is illegal. What if you are serving alcohol to a minor and that minor does leave your house? The, I would imagine it's more severe legal ramifications. There, there are than very course. serious consequences. And we all know those parents who say that. I, right. I grew up and I knew parents who said, come to our house and, and you, we can drink here and be safe and they think they're doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you hate to be the lawyer that's the stickler, but you are really not. I mean, you are inviting liability on yourself if, if, if minors especially are consuming alcohol. There are also bars and restaurants who will sort of look the other way this time of year and say, you know, because they're trying to make a lot of money and there are dram shop laws that will strictly hold those establishments responsible for serving minors mm -hmm. um, alcohol. Now, what if you have someone, let's go back to legal age people now, leaving your house, you're leaving someone with a party, you yourself are not intoxicated, they are, but they're the ones with the car, so you offer to drive their car, and unfortunately still an accident occurs. What mm -hmm. then? Well, that, in that situation, if the driver is, is not intoxicated, then there's, it's no different than any other type of accident that would occur. So that wouldn't, wouldn't rise to a different level. It's just a, a run-of-the-mill car accident case. And in this state, though, the, the, I, I know this unfortunately from having experienced this recently, if you're, even if you're driving someone else's car, the insurance still follows the car, correct? Yeah, insurance is always on the car. So when you when you loan somebody your car, you're also loaning out your insurance. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep that in mind. If uh, Now, if, if the injury to the other person that's caused by the accident is in excess of the policy of the vehicle that, that the person is driving, then it would follow the driver's insurance next. So it starts with the vehicle and then goes to the drivers. Okay, okay. Well, safest case, always just call a cab, right? Call a cab. Matt Fleischman, thank you so much for that advice. Thank you. Uh, let's take it over